Alright guys, welcome back to part two of this video. Um, earlier we had, let's just do this, and I had these shapes in here and we just used solids to erase and trim. So let's just go over that real quick. We're going to use trim, trim this main body from this. Um, now with and Roth tools it takes a little bit longer especially when you're video recording it takes up a lot of CPU usage so give it just a moment should almost be done there it is so let's go ahead and hide this and notice it puts in that hole and everything is great so we're just going to go ahead and delete all these and we're going to make what really needs to go there. So let's look at our PowerPoint real quick. And we're going to be making these slots right here. So notice it's a th it's 30 degrees in between and the center is right along this line. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do 15 degrees this way, 15 this way, and then this arc follows the same as this one and this bottom one follows the same as this. The radius of these fillets are a quarter inch. And so the height to this, I mean not the height, it's a quarter inch away from here and a quarter inch away from here according to our drawings. So let's also look at what the radius of this one is. It is the I want to say it's the four inch radius because it's right up to here, the inside edge. So, and then this radius is the 1.625 for that edge right here. So 1.625 and four. So let's remember that. Let's go ahead and get into our back left. Was it left? No. Yes, it was left view. So let's go to the left view. Zoom down. And. Okay. So tape measure, we're going to make a line right here. We're going to get our protractor tool right on the center. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to go 15 degrees. That way. Start it again. And then do another 15. So there's 30 degrees right there. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and make the shape we need. So we need to come down. I'm going to draw a line. Let's see. How do I want to do this? So, tape measure, I'm just trying to look to see what the best way to approach this is. We need to get it to where it shows the X right here. And then until we can go... He's just having a hard time riding along that line. So I'm going to just type in 4. And it puts it up there. That's too far. So, oh, duh. That's from the origin that we need to go along to four, not. There we go. So, yep, that's perfect. So, we need to take a quarter inch off of that. So, we just wanted to make sure that that was correct. So, we're going to ride that little red box, means we're right on that line. So, we're going to go up 3.75 it there. Let's do that again for here. 3.75. Okay. Now we need to go a quarter inch above this. So 1.625 
plus a quarter inch. So one point six two five plus the point two five. Okay, 1.875. Yes, I didn't want to do the math in my head. 1.875. So along the origin, right up this way, 1.875. Same thing along this, 1.875. Okay. So, line tool to connect them. Hit L again to start a new line here. Okay. Then we need to get our arc tool and we need to do I got to find it. Okay, so it should be R and then four point zero. And that'll make a radius of four. Perfect. <clears throat> and then from here to here along that line and capital R I always do capital R and we want 1.625 radius and there we go okay so now we have our shape but what we need to do now is create these fillets one thing we could do is bring a circle quarter inch in I mean not a circle a guide quarter inch in guide down but with these curves it can be a little tricky so a trick a gentleman showed me on the SketchUp forms is use the offset tool oops and offset everything by 0.25 so we have this okay now what we're going to do is use the actual arc tool I want to say it's called pi. Yes. Okay, go on this point here. And when it goes purple, that means it's perpendicular and it's straight. Click, oh, whoops. So you want it to be purple right there. That means it's perpendicular. Click it on there, draw it until you see the red X. Click it. Then E for erase. There we go. There's that fillet. So let's do it again. Pi tool. So click on that point. Go straight up until it's purple, which means it's perpendicular. Then click on the edge and then when it's the X, click on it. Do the same thing when it's purple for perpendicular. Ah, let's click there and there. Even though that one's technically not perpendicular, still, let's try that again. Zoom in right there. Yeah, you can see where it's going over that line. So let's back, let's move back a little bit. Go on that one. How do we do? That's uh, not. So that one's all right. Sometimes it can be a little tricky when it comes to making arcs. Click that one and back on there. So either when it's the X or purple is when you want to click because that means all the lines are going to be not so great alright we went too far yep 
so we need to so it can't be purple it's got to be the X so purple here is fine even though it's going to leave just a little bit but that'll all get trimmed away right there okay so then we can zoom in and do that and I think we've got all the corners let's go ahead and get rid of that Okay, so we're almost done. So let's go back to our left view. Everything looks great. So now what we need to do, that's a component, good. Use the push-pull. Go into x-ray so we can see the back side of this. Pull it through some. You may have to shrink it down just a little. Right there, undo x-ray. Okay. Triple click it. Make component. I'm just going to call it slot. And it says that it's a component, but doesn't say it's a solid. So let's go ahead and use solid inspector to see what's going on. Probably some faces, yep. <coughs> so I'm going to hit x-ray to see if we can see them. It says there's some external faces. Um, probably... Let's go ahead and fix them. They're probably so small we couldn't see them highlighted in red. It's probably where it overlapped on those circles. But notice it's a solid. Now the reason why it has to be solid is because it won't we won't be able to use solid tools in order to to do that. Now we have that in the perfect spot. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. So have it selected. Point here. Now control click and then type in 360 then divide by 7. There it is. Hit spacebar to deselect and with it still currently selected just hit delete. That'll get rid of the extra one. So, now one trick you can do is control all of these like so, right click explode, right click uh, make a component and call it slots, and now all you have to do is one single operation of trim, but um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right now and pause it so that I can go ahead and do that because that will take way too much time to process with the video recording at the same time. So I will return.